A basis of accounting note? What? The effective date of the new compilation standard is coming quickly. One of its requirements is to include a basis of accounting note. The question on most practitioners' mind is where to start and what to include or not include. There are no examples in the standard. By understanding the requirement, it allows you to have good discussions with your client, know what to include, and save time in drafting. I am Kirsten Albo of Ask KSA Consulting. With over three decades of public practice experience, I know how to read, interpret, and implement new standards. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of the basis of accounting note requirements to enable you to be an effective and efficient practitioner. Basis of Accounting the basis of accounting note is the terminology used in the new compilation standard. It is how the financial information has been prepared. You can equate this to the concept of ASPE or not-for-profit accounting standards, but they are not the same. Here's things to bear in mind about the basis of accounting note. ASPE or not-for-profit standards have prescribed recognition, measurement, and disclosure requirements. That is not the case for the basis of accounting. The objective is to help users understand how the information has been prepared. The basis used is very specific to the individual client. You do not need to include a basis for every line item. Tailor the note to what is applicable to your client. Users of the compiled financial information make their own decisions as they understand how the information has been prepared. The first step. There are no examples in the standard itself. That's because standard setters did not want to include anything that was prescriptive and lead practitioners to think they had to include certain items. This is helpful to you as you tailor the note to your client's nature and circumstances, but there is guidance. Here are strategies to drafting your basis of accounting note. Review the prior year statements. Reflect on what basis is applicable to your client. Use examples from guidance material. Sample notes can be found in Appendix C of the CPA Canada CSRS 4200 Implementation Tool. Determine what bases are necessary for your client. I remind you, a basis is not required for every line item. Finalize the note and perform a test run in the first year. The critical thing to remember is the basis of accounting note does not have to be in accordance with anything other than what is relevant to your client. Client assistance. One of the questions that is likely on your mind is, can I help my client develop the note? Absolutely. My guess is if you asked a client what their basis of accounting note is, 99% of them would turn to you and say, I don't know, you tell me. You can help your client develop the note, but here are the important things to keep in mind. The standard acknowledges the practitioner may assist the client. It is management who retains responsibility for the compiled financial information and the selection of the basis of accounting. Walk your client through the note and explain how the compiled financial information has been prepared. Determine how you will document their acknowledgement. The last point is important and requires a decision. The standard does not require management's acknowledgement to be in writing, so think about how it will be obtained and documented. Ensure completeness. Think of the note this way. While the concept of including a written note in the financial information is new, the concept of preparing it is not. You have always prepared the financial information in accordance with a basis of accounting. The only difference is you write it down. Establish a process to ensure you don't miss anything important. Here are strategies to follow. Draft the note. Review the compiled information in light of the basis of accounting note. Consider significant items and whether or not all have been included. Stand back to consider if anything causes the compiled financial information to be misleading. Add additional basis if needed. Discuss the compiled information with your client and obtain their acknowledgement on the selection of the basis of accounting. Document significant judgments. The standard does not preclude you from including other notes. If you included a note last year, include it again. Changes to the basis of accounting. Your client might change their basis of accounting one year. That's not an issue. What you have to think about in regards to the change is the impact on your conclusion whether the statements are misleading. Here are factors to consider in that determination. 
review the impact of the change in the current year and reflect on the comparative information. Conclude on the impact on the current year statements and what action to take. There are three alternatives to pursue. Restate the comparatives, include a description in the basis of accounting on what has changed, do nothing at all. Reflect on the statements to ensure they are not misleading. Document your conclusions. A change in the basis of accounting is perfectly acceptable. Your responsibility is to ensure the financial information is not misleading. Implementing these strategies related to the basis of accounting note will help you with execution and save you time. Use the sample notes from the guidance material, but always tailor to your client's nature and circumstances. And at the end, stand back and ask yourself, is the financial information misleading? If you liked these pro tips, check out Ask KSA PD's CSRS 4200 session. Click on the link to register.